Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. And a lot of you might have noticed by now, I like to take something I see and recreate it in a very thrifty way, usually with Dollar Tree items. This one was a little bit of a challenge for me to figure out, but I think I've got at least the essence of it, and it makes a nice little decor for a corner of a room or up on some books like I have it. So this project's gonna need three Dollar Tree items, and I'll go through those here in a minute. But we're gonna start with first the gold round basket. The second item you're gonna need is the round chunky piece of wood that's back with all the other wood products. And then a funnel, the one from the automotive department, not the kitchen, because it does have the different shape to it that we need. So we're gonna start the project with the gold basket and right where that arrow is we want to snip make sure we're below that line that goes around in the circle we're going to snip that off with wire cutters or wire snips and you're going to end up with a piece like this and then we are going to flatten that out carefully and at this point you might have noticed mine is now black and looks a little bit more uh, different than what it did originally and that's because I did use it for another project and then um, decided to do it with this project. And the reason I said carefully is because right where I'm pointing to in that picture is a very fragile point and those do break off there. So when you're unbending or bending to get that all flat, just be aware of that point and how fragile it is. But everything else is pretty movable and bendable without any problems. I also snipped off some random pieces in the front just to make it look less like the basket that it originally was. So you could leave it the way it came or just to put it to your liking. I would leave the bar across the middle where the knob's going to go and I'll tell you why here in a minute. So the next step is to take that flattened piece that you just bent and unbent and put it against the bigger circle of the piece that's left over of the basket and you're going to bend the wires around and this is what's going to make the cage of the frame. And then we need another part for the motor and the blades to sit on. So this was just an empty ribbon spool and you don't want the really thin ribbon spool. You want one of the thicker ones and it doesn't really matter the size but this was probably an inch and a half wide ribbon. Then cut two slits, kind of like an X, into one part of that ribbon spool and then push it on top of the funnel, the end piece of the funnel, and that's what's going to hold everything in place. And I know it looks bad, but I promise you it doesn't even show. Then you're going to glue that ribbon spool to the wood round circle and then paint everything black. And it looks really rough in this picture because the ribbon spool is very glossy and so I kind of stippled it all because I was using a sponge brush, but it kind of adds to the old vintage feel and stuff too, but I think if you use a regular brush you won't have to do that. And for that front knob piece, you're gonna need to take a water bottle or some kind of cap from a bottle, and like a Gatorade bottle is a little bit bigger, that would work really well too, but this is just a larger water bottle cap and then I just paint it that black. Then you'll need to make the blades for the fan and I just hand drew freehanded the shape of the blade and then I cut these out of, I think it was photo matting board because it was really thick but you could use cardstock or anything that's like a thicker cardboard would work. And then I had this acrylic metallic silver paint and I painted all those. So I took the four blades and put them around the circle hole of the ribbon spool and glued those in place with hot glue and then glued the knob, the water bottle cap over the top to hide the ends of the blades and to cover the hole of the spool. And then with the cage on the front of that, you're going to center it and put two little dots of glue or if I what I mentioned earlier about leaving that one piece on, that would give it more to hold on to, but this actually does hold very well. And just go ahead and glue that down. And then where the back of the fan cage touches the funnel, I put a little spot of glue there. And I was really surprised how well that held everything together. So this is what it looks like when it's all together. 
and then I just put it into the corner of my room on this little table that I have and I think it turned out really cute. So you've got this vintage looking fan for $3 plus some recycled materials. So if you like these projects, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. And as usual, I will have the material list below the video.